Hi everyone, today's installment four. We're gonna pick up where we left off and I have a few notes here in front of me that I'm gonna be using. So we're gonna talk about um, what happens when we actually crack open our hearts. There is something that happens in our heart and the sound of the shofar that we hear each day during the 30 days of Elul is meant to wake us up. The vibrations of the shofar as the sound is emitting through the air is something that's supposed to rumble inside of us and crack us open. The Jewish teaching in, from our sages is that we actually have to hear the sound of the shofar. We have to be feel the vibrations of the shofar. And when this happens, it is God telling us something. And that something is, is we need to open. We need to reopen ourselves to that flow of energy. The psalm of the heart tells us that God is close to the brokenhearted. And as the shofar sounds, our cries are like Hannah's at Shiloh. And the cries of our broken hearts are really our truest prayers. And they're elevated. They're raised like one complete prayer. For it's also said that one complete prayer elevates all the fragments, the broken pieces of our previous prayers. You know, the ones that we say like, thank God the falling can of corn didn't hit my foot and break my toe. Thank God that wasn't anything serious. Thank God that's over, as most students will say. I can't believe that test is over. Thank you, God. I'm sure that you can fill in your own thank gods. So naturally, we need to now talk about what happens when our hearts open. It's said that the soul has a holy God point, a holy spark that's etched in our hearts. And this is where we're going to pick back up tomorrow. Shavuot, I'm sorry, not Shavuot Tov, Lila Tov. Um, Shavuot Tov will be for Sunday after Shabbos is over. Have a really great night.